Assalamu alaikum, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Guys, as I already told you that I'm solving the past paper of AP Calculus 2018, I already solved from question 1 to question 15. Now I'm going to move on question number 16, which is uh, the question, uh, you can say, partial fraction question, right? So you have to find the integration of 1 plus 3x divided by 1 minus x, 3x minus 5, okay, dx. I mean, such type of question always come in AP exam. So I'm going to tell you how to solve such type of integrations, right? So <clears throat> be ready for this one. So here there are uh, options A, B, C, and D. These are the options, right? So I'm going to solve this question first. So the question is, 1 plus 3x divided by 1 minus x, 3x minus 5, dx. Uh, remember guys, uh, here uh, in the denominator, if you find two linear factor, you can say two different linear factor, for example, 1 minus x, 3x minus 5, we have two different linear factors, right? So if you see that we have two linear factor in the denominator, then what do you have to do? So first of all, just copy and paste here, 1 plus 3x divided by 1 minus x and 3x minus 5, right? Means this is one term. This is the one term and I have to break this one term into two different terms, right? I cannot, I cannot because it is not possible. So if you know the concept of the partial fraction, then one term can be written in two terms, right? So what is the partial fraction and how to solve this question? In the partial fraction, we have just three cases. So case number one tell us that if you have any fractions and the denominator are two different linear factors, then what you have to do, just say, for example, here we have two linear factors, just say A, okay, just say let A divided by this linear factor, one minus X, plus B divided by this factor, three X minus five. And make this in equation one very simple so 1 plus 3x divided by 1 minus x 3x minus 5 just say a divided by 1 minus x plus b divided by 3x minus 5 in this fraction in this terms i don't know what is the value of a and b we will try to solve and then find out the value of a and b right so what you have to do that this one is just copy and paste right so you can say 1 plus 3x divided by 1 minus x 3x minus 5 here you can take the LCM, so you will find 1 minus x, 3x minus 5, A multiplied by 3x minus 5, plus B multiplied by 1 minus x, and then this one, this one cancel, now you have 1 plus 3x, and here we have A, 3x minus 5, plus B, 1 minus x, right? Now we have, here we, we can say we have this one and this one, so <coughs> we have to solve some things. So as you can say, A and B, both are unknown, right? We, we don't know what is the value of A, what is the value of B, but if you know one value of uh, one value of B or one value of A, then it is so easy to find the other values, right? So here, the question is what value of X I just plug in here, and the B becomes zero because you know this is one minus X. So here in my mind, it comes if X is equal to one, for example, right? If you put x is equal to 1, so what will happen? 1 minus 1, 0, and 0 multiplied by any number, the answer is always 0. So 1 minus 0 multiplied by b is 0, then easily we can just find out the value of a. So do one thing, just put x is equal to 1 on the both side, on both sides, not on the right side. You have to plug in this value on both sides, then you will have 1 plus, so this is 3, and here in place of x, you just write down, uh, 1 okay so here this is also a and this is 3 and here I'm going to put uh, just one value and then uh, you can say minus 5 then and this is what b 1 minus 1 so this will be 0 and here 1 plus 3 which is 4 and here you can say this is a 3 minus 5 minus 2 so minus 2 a, and this is 0 so we can say a is equal to 4 divided by minus 2 so easily we can say a is equal to minus 2 so now 
I know the value of a which is minus 2. In the same way, we will solve this question and we will just find out the value of b. So I'm going to read this part, okay? And um, so now, now. I have a question here because you already just put x is equal to 1 here so that the b becomes 0. Now we have another idea that why not we just, just put it here. Uh, for example, if I put x is equal to 5, 4, 3 here, right? So if x is equal to 5 by 3, 3, 3 cancel, 5 minus 5 is 0. So now what will I do? I will just put x is equal to 5 by 3 on both sides. And then a will be 0 and I can find b easily. So now we will just try here. So this is what, uh, you can say oh, this is 1 plus 3 and x is what, 5 over 3, right? In place of x, I just plug in 5 by 3 and this is what, a, the same thing, this is 3 and x is what, 5 by 3 minus 5 and this is b, 1 minus 5 over 3. Now you can say this 3, 3 cancel, 1 plus 5, this is 3, 3 cancel, 5 minus 5, 0, 0 multiplied by a, 0. And we can say here is b, 3 minus 5, 3 minus 5 by 3. So we can say this is 6 and here it will be 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 2 by 3 b. So we can just uh, 2 multiplied by 1, 2 and this is 3, 6. So we can say 3 multiplied by 3, 9. So we can say b is equal to minus 9 minus transfer here. So you can say b is equal to minus now, in this way, we can easily find out A and B. Now, my third step moves to, uh, I'm going to put the value of A and B in equation number one. So, when we will find, in the first column here, we will see, I'm going to put the value of, oh my god, I forget, what was the value of A? I think that is A is equal to minus 2. I'm going to just write down here, A is equal to minus 2 and B was uh, minus 9, right? Okay. So now, okay. Right? So here, we can say we have one, we have one plus three x divided by one minus x, three x minus five, and the a is minus two divided by one minus x, and b is also minus nine divided by three x minus five. Okay, guys. So now we can say that this fraction now can be broken in the two terms, right? Okay. Now we want this integration. So integration on both sides. So if I say integration on both sides, 1 plus 3x divided by 1 minus x, 3x minus 5. Here, minus 2 divided, and this is dx, right? So this is 1 minus x dx, and this is also, you can say, 9 by 3x minus 5 dx, right? Okay, so here I'm going to tell you some rules, right? Uh, ln, uh, integration of 1 over x, which is what? Uh, ln x right so here you can say uh, you can say I'm, I'm going to solve here try to understand that this minus 2 is out okay so we have 1 minus x dx right yeah so this is and here you can say 9 is out so this is what uh, 1 by integration of 1 by 3x minus 5 dx right okay so here you can say this is minus 2 and here you can say this is x minus 1, right? So this is what? x minus 1. Because this is what? Uh, if you take the minus 1 outside, minus 1 common, then it will be what? Uh, 1 minus x. Okay, wait. Uh, we can say... Okay. Let's wait, 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 one minute, wait, okay, wait.
I want to tell you something. I want to solve here. We have this question, right? Okay. So, see, if we have integration of 1 minus x dx, right? So here you can say 1 minus x is equal to what? Uh, t, for example. So, you can say minus dx is equal to what? dt. So, dx is equal to what? Minus dt, right? So, when you just put it here, this is 1 by t. Minus is outside. This is dt. So, this is minus ln t. You can say the answer is minus ln t, right? So, this is what? You have minus 2. And here the integration is minus ln t. t is what? t is 1 minus x. So, you can say minus 1 minus x. So, here you can say 1 minus x, right? In the same way, in the same way, we can solve this question too. So you will see here, okay, so the question is, oh, for example, integration of 1 divided by 3x minus 5, right? This is dx. I said let 3x minus 5 is equal to t, right? You can say 3 dx is equal to what dt, so dx is equal to what 1 by 3 dt, right? So here you can say uh, 1 by, this is t, and this 1 by 3 dt, 1 by 3 is out. And 1 by t is ln t and t is what? 3x minus 5, right? So we can say minus 1 by 3, this is 9, this is 9. And this you can say uh, 1 over 3 ln 3x minus 5, right? And uh, if you see any ln, the x will be always in modulus, right? Because this is not a negative. So minus 1 is plus, so you can say u2 ln 1 minus x. And this is 9 by 3, 9 by 3 is 3 and ln 3x minus 5 in mod. So you can say the answer is 2 ln 1 minus x. Here you can see in A, 2 ln 1 minus x minus 3 ln 3x minus 5 plus C. This is the final answer. Still, you have a problem, guys. You just write down the comments. Again, I told you I'm just making two series, one for the calculus, where I'm just taking calculus from the beginning, from the scratch, right? And uh, this is just I'm solving the quotient paper of AP Calculus, right? So I cannot tell you the exact things I cannot teach you from the beginning right now here, because here my intention is just to solve the questions, right? So still you have a problem, guys. You just write down the comments. Whenever we have a time, I can just uh, give my time and I will explain there. Hope I, uh, you all understand. And inshallah, just watch my next video because there I'm going to solve question number 17. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye.